To Commitment 2022 now, and the race for Yolo County District Attorney is heating up. On the ballot is incumbent DA Jeff Reisig, and he is running against former public defender Cynthia Rodriguez, who has come under fire for some contributions to her campaign. KCRA3's Leticia Ordaz spoke with both candidates about their top priorities and has more on the battle to be the county's top prosecutor. Morning. Jeff Reisig has been Yolo County's DA for 16 years and says his job isn't done yet. He's been busy getting his message out to voters. Are you single? He says what's no laughing matter is crime is way up. We've seen some horrible violent crimes in Sacramento and Yolo County. Um, and I'm totally focused on that. I mean, I have 25 years as a prosecutor, boots on the ground, dealing with the worst of the worst. Rizek says if he is reelected, he will focus on three top priorities of reducing crime, tackling homelessness, and implementing programs to increase equity in the justice system. With Stanford University to develop a first of its kind race blind charging program so that when my prosecutors, all 30 of them, are charging cases that come in from all of the police agencies. We don't know the race of the suspect, the victim, the witnesses, nobody. Cynthia Rodriguez, pleased to meet you. Mother of four, Cynthia Rodriguez says she brings decades of legal experience to the table. If elected DA of Yolo County, she promises to prioritize public safety, champion equal justice, and stop the mass incarceration of people of color. You know, we have hear a lot about safety in the community, but it often is tied to incarceration. Whereas if you look at it statistically, the way to have safety in a community is more about fixing the problems we have, not just shoving them off for a few years to a state penitentiary. Rodriguez is working to convince voters it's time for a change. I've watched this office for years and I've been um, discouraged by some of the things that happen here. The incumbent argues she's not qualified for the job. Frankly, I think it would be a disaster for Yolo County to have a chief prosecutor that's never actually prosecuted a single case in her life. That's a problem. I think that it's a scare tactic to make it seem like I'm going to walk in as a babe in the woods. 40 years, judges all across the state, uh, state federal court. I have, um, you know, I was, I was doing these cases when he was in junior high. So, you know, I do have the experience. Rising is questioning her judgment after she received campaign contributions from the families of two convicted child molesters. I was outraged by it. Um, I think, you know, when you're running for district attorney to be the chief law enforcement officer, you do not take money from child molesters or their family members, period. And she did, and she still hasn't apologized for it. Rodriguez responds to the controversy. You know, I don't see all the money and I don't know everybody who's contributed. So when it was pointed out to us that this was a, an issue with somebody, we took that money and gave it to Empower YOLO, which is a, a charity to um, reach out to women and children. Um, that was the best I can do. This is a nonpartisan race and both candidates are urging voters in Yolo County to do their research and get out and vote. In Yolo County, Leticia Ordaz, KCLRA 3 News. Every registered voter should have received their vote by mail ballot already. Those ballots need to be postmarked by the June 7th primary.